Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Tony G from Tony G's Guitar Kitchen. And it has been a long time since uh, I've run something up the flagpole. And uh, yes, I am standing here with a Earl Slick SL51 Butterscotch um, Telecaster. Uh, you remember that I had the... Um, what was it called? It was the SL56 uh, Stratocaster that Earl Slick has out at Guitar Fetish uh, about a year, maybe about a year ago. Um, and uh, as great of a guitar it was, it just didn't have what I needed or that particular guitar just wasn't for me. But a friend of mine loved it and uh, sold it to him. Uh, this, different story though. <laughs> this is a beautiful uh, relic, um, really period piece, uh, period correct uh, Telecaster. It has uh, um, Canadian maple neck and maple fretboard. It has all the Earl Slick accoutrements, obviously. Uh, on the back, the uh, neck plate has Earl Slick's little logo, um, obviously his name at the headstock and in the ashtray bridge it's got his little insignia uh, all of this is very fender correct I took all the measurements and they you could replace uh, everything with fender parts if you wanted to it has the traditional uh, Telecaster three post bridge uh, but the saddles are brass the knobs are probably 1953 style because they're flat on the top instead of a little rounded um, in their brass. The knobs for the tuning keys, I don't know if that'll focus in or not, but the knobs for the tuning keys are brass. These are Grover style um, guitar fetish branded uh, uh, tuners. Uh, everything about this guitar is fantastic. I did very little to it. I had one fret that I uh, needed to adjust here it was a little it was buzzing a little bit and I always like to polish the frets more than they come so I polished all the frets it comes with the Dario uh, 10s on it I'm I'm an Ernie Ball uh, slinky 9s to 46s sometimes I use the uh, hybrid slinkies which are 10s on the bottoms uh, 9 on the top uh, but I did very little I let this sit for a couple weeks because it came from Florida and uh, very humid down there in the summer so I let it settle in here a couple weeks I did my uh, my thing to it I've been playing it for about three weeks and uh, it has finally settled in uh, this is a really great guitar um, it uh, has medium jumbo frets uh, it's got Alnico 5 pickups the uh, bridge about nine and a half uh, the neck, six and a half. The specs on the guitar say it's 4.6, but I metered it out at six and a half. It's got their, uh, I don't know if this is an Earl Slick uh, custom pickups or if this is guitar fetish pickups, they're, but they're the Fullerton pickups. Uh, they, they mimic very closely uh, the Telecaster, the traditional Telecaster sound. Um, the body, is not sealed, not filled. I think that they just go and get some auto body paint and spray it, rub it down, relic it. Um, there's no nitrocellulose or any kind of uh, top coating on it. So this this wood's going to breathe. It's going to breathe through the paint. It's going to uh, hopefully over time even get better. So let's get down to some playing. These pickups, at least the neck pickup, is very dark which I really enjoy I love that dark um, bluesy sound so the kind of music that I play which is you know classic rock more blues style uh, playing uh, this works out fantastic for me so let's play a few tunes
Okay, there you have it. This is the SL51 Neural Slicks uh, contribution to the Tele world, to the T style world. It is a marvelous guitar. You would not be disappointed if you're considering getting an Earl Slick guitar. Look Earl Slick up, it's guitar fetish. It comes in multiple colors. Uh, everything about this guitar for me plays fantastic and does what I need. Uh, Delivered to my house in Portland, Oregon from Florida with a tweed hard shell case, traditional looking Fender style case, was less than $350. I think it was $347 something. And um, this is a guitar that you don't mind taking to a dive bar or a gig in shady circumstances uh, where you're not going to want to take your, your classic axe to. Uh, in fear of it uh, getting stolen, pummeled, trashed, uh, cheap beer poured on it, whatever. Um, this may be the answer for you. If you're just looking for a workhorse guitar uh, that sounds great, made, really just made excellent, uh, check it out. The Earl Slick. Hey Earl, get in focus. The Earl Slick 51 T style guitar uh, at Guitar Fetish. Drop them a line, check it out. You will have a fantastic time with this guitar. So until next time, peace, love, joy, and guitars.